Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to what I think is the 14th episode of the Local to Global series. Today we have Josh Briggs defending his championship against Nick Gage. That'll be a cool match. A popularity update, we're still on 15 pop. We've been on 15 pop for one, maybe two shows now. So we should jump up to 16 soon. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, yeah, we expected 289 fans for this one, so that's pretty cool too. So let's jump into the show. It starts off with Kylie Ray defeating Jake something in 9.31 via roll-up. So that's, that's mad. Jake something loses again, the poor lad. He's trying, but he just can't win, can he? You win some, you lose some, or if you Jake something, you lose every fucking match you've ever had. 24 for something, 27 for Kylie Ray, who improves in Rumble, so good on her. We then have a 40 D minus where Joey Janela defeats Space Monkey in 1142 by pinfall with his Moonsault foot stomp. Janela gets a 34 to Space Monkey's 40. Space Monkey picks up his first defeat since his recent run of victories as Janela improves in performance and maintains his 100% win streak in New York City wrestling. And maybe, if you've got a 100% win streak, maybe you're a contender for championships. And that's what he says, is he states that he wants the winner of Briggs vs. Gage. He knows that he'd have a good match with either of those men. He knows that he is the man the fans want in that match. Who doesn't want Janela vs. Briggs? Who doesn't want Janela vs. Gage? Who doesn't want a man to fucking die? So, Joey Janela issues his claim, his challenge. The winner of tonight's main event may very well have to fight Joey Janela. We then have a 56 C minus where Matt Fitchett defeats Andrew Everett in 14 20 with the rock and rook knee. Everett and Fitchett have great chemistry, which shown their performances. We might have to do a rematch of that then. Fitchett got a 55 to Everett's 42 as the crowd's buzzing. A very brilliant matchup and an excellent performance from Matt Fitchett there. I'm absolutely elated over that. That is class. We back that up with the 41D there where Tracy Williams defeats Chris Dickinson in 15-57 by pin forward the pile driver. Dickinson gets a 42 to Tracy's 39 as Williams improves in rumble and Dickinson improves in technical. A match there between two of our big stars, you know, and... Uh, Dickinson loses. A win for Tracy Williams where it really matters. And he now has to be up there with Joey Janela once again. Is arguably the top contender. Um, well, you never saw that happen. But yeah, Dickinson and Tracy Williams shake hands there following Williams' victory. As we then hit to the semi-main event where the loser leaves town match. And about that had a decent reaction from the crowd but subpar I think. Kip Sabian defeats Trey Miguel in 22.04 by pinfall with a springboard drop kick. apparently. That's not what he used. For two people who've had really good performances, they're really disappointed there. But Sabian gets the victory over Trey Miguel in that loser leaves town match. Mainly gets the victory over Trey because Trey was a lot more unhappy than Sabian is here. So I'm like, goodbye Trey. So that's a good way to get rid of him. And then the main event of the evening... In a bout that had a decent reaction from the crowd, Josh Briggs defeats Nick Gage in a last man standing match in 1408 when Gage could not beat a 10 count after a maroon 5 from the top rope through two tables. As Briggs makes defence number 9 of his NYCW Heavyweight Championship. MDK, more like MD Briggs. Am I right, guys? But that's his ninth defense, which is quite impressive. We get a 41D for this show there. We're going to praise Matt Fitcher because he was absolutely incredible. Space Monkey did good too. And who else did a bit of all right? Um, did anyone actually do anything spectacular? Trey Miguel told that they could do better. And he'll never have a chance yet to prove that again, because he's gone. And speaking of people who are gone, there's Snitsky. He's gone from our screens, and look at that screen. 
That TV is an absolute box. What a man. I do love that picture though. Like, that is a class picture. But, um, yeah, so, a solid show there as we move ever closer to the King of New York 2020 tournament. That will be coming to you in just a few episodes time. Um, we've got some emails. Oh, what a shame, Trey. Tracy Williams doesn't like Kylie Ray. Says she can't sell anything worth a damn. And that the kid needs to learn how to work. Ouch. Hashtag ouch. But thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys very shortly for NYCW 16. But who will Josh Briggs defend his title against? Find out very soon.